Guy. I can't believe it's come to an end. Um, you guys will always be in my heart, and uh, I sincerely, sincerely appreciate it. No words can describe how I feel about you guys. And uh, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. I, God, I love you guys. And uh, I love you guys. And uh, my family, to my family, my wife Vanessa, our daughters Natalia and Gianna, you know, thank you guys for all your sacrifice. You know, for all the hours I spent in the gym working and training. And Vanessa, you holding down the family the way that you have. I, I, I can't, there's no way that I can thank you enough for that. So, yeah, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. And uh, what can I say? Mamba out. It's a, it's a tough day. It's a tough day. Um, uh, you know, I'm sure everybody, you know, has heard at this point about uh, the passing of one Kobe Bean Bryant. Um, I, I tried to make a post yesterday, but like, you know, I just couldn't do it because um, I was just hurt. I was just, uh, I was just hurt. Like, that's the only way I can describe it was like hurt. Uh, people use the word devastated a lot. Um, people use the word heartbroken a lot. That definitely describes, you know, how I was feeling, you know, yesterday. And I'm certainly feeling that way today. Um, the way I found out was, um, I was sitting in church. Actually, I just walked into church and my brother texts me. Oh, my brother texts me. He goes, uh, bro, check the news, check the news. I'm like, why? What's going on? And he said, uh, Kobe was in a helicopter crash. And I was like, you know, what the fuck? Right. So I go, I, um, you know, check Google. And, you know, not only does it say Kobe was in the helicopter crash, TMZ is saying that Kobe, Kobe Bryant is dead. You know, even saying that sentence is, it's mind boggling. Like it doesn't seem real. It doesn't seem real. Um, you know, I was born in 94, Kobe was drafted in 96. So basically as long as I can remember, you know, dating back to when I was five years old, Kobe Bryant has been like a very famous polarizing figure um, in the game of basketball, which was like the first sport that I ever fell in love with. Um, I got a comment here. I didn't even believe it was real news when I first saw it. Yeah, same with here. So like my brother, you know, texts me that I see on TV, TMZ, uh, Kobe's dead. And, um, you know, I didn't want to believe it just like everybody else. I was just checking other newsletters. You know, other people were saying that TMZ's reporting, TMZ's reporting. So I was just holding out hope. Like I was just hoping that it was just like a terrible hoax and i was just hoping that it was like the sort of story that would shut tmz down and the crazy thing about tmz as an outlet is even though they can be like a nasty tabloid and like put out rumors and gossip about certain celebrities in a salacious way when it comes to big news like that they usually have their facts straight because if you guys remember they were the first ones to report on on michael jackson passing away right so i was holding out hope that everything was going to be okay and that it seemed like he was dead but you know like he pulled through or something or like there was going to be some sort of miracle something anything just like please lord don't let this be true um but you know sure enough sure enough um you know the, the, the news was confirmed that he passed and i'm sitting in church and i was you know crying i bawled my eyes out you know i had a you know, full on, you know, you know, you know, full on broke down. Um, we have a comment here, RIP Kobe Bryant and Gigi to the families, you beautiful angels, so sad. My prayers goes out to everyone. Yep, exactly. Me too. And like, you know, the, the part that just, you know, just adding tragedy upon tragedy is that his daughter was in that helicopter with him and she passed away. Um, we we're just getting to know Gigi. We we're just getting to know her as this, you know, this this young phenom, this young basketball player who is going to take over the WNBA one day. You know that viral video of her and her dad. You know, like you know, studying the game, watching Trey Young, watching the Lakers. You know, like him 
you know, Kobe just really spending time with his daughter. Um, Kobe just spending time with his daughter and like really investing into her dream and, um, you know, the, the pain that, you know, Vanessa Bryant and her now three daughters must be going through. I mean, you know, one of the daughters is old enough to understand. The other two, I'm pretty sure, are like infants. So, you know, they're definitely not going to understand. But, you know, those two are going to have to grow up without a father. You know, the oldest daughter, I mean, I can't imagine the pain that she's growing through. Vanessa Bryant, I can't. I. That's just, you know, even in regular life, I can't comprehend the love of a mother or like the love that women have towards the people that they love most. It's a difficult thing for me to comprehend and to lose your child and your husband on the same day, just like that. Um, boy, like, what can you say? Um, didn't really have much to say yesterday. I guess I still don't have much to say now. Um, I guess all I can think about is just like, you know, why this is such a sad moment and why Yesterday, I was feeling such the pain in my chest and my gut that I was feeling, especially yesterday and even this morning when I was waking up. You know, Kobe just rep is just excellence exemplified. And when you watch this guy play, you're just immediately inspired. Whether you're a Laker fan or whether you're a Laker hater or whether you're a Kobe fan or you're a Kobe hater or whether you like sports or you don't like sports. When you watch this guy play, you knew that you were just watching excellence exemplified and it just so happened to be in the sport of basketball. He represented, uh, you know, work ethic, you know. He represented, you know, an obsession with your craft. He represented uh, competitiveness, being the absolute best that you can be. He represented an uncompromising spirit. You know, he was somebody who was criticized a lot throughout his career for his, for his you know, quote unquote arrogance, for his um, selfishness, for, um, for being too much, for being too hard on people. Um, and he just absolutely would not compromise on the way how, how he was, who he was, because he knew it was the right thing to go. He Sorry, because he knew it was the right way to go. And you just saw it. Like, you just saw it in the results. Like, you know, he's the fourth all-time leading scorer in the NBA. He's a five-time champion, you know, two-time finals MVP, you know, a, a league, regular season MVP. You just saw it. You know, he's excellent exemplified is the best way I could describe it. And for me personally, you know, I have memories with my boy, uh, Ben. Uh, ben is the one who got me, like, you know, really um, obsessed with the Lakers. So shout out to you, bro. I'm really, like, you know, hoping and praying that you're all right. But I have memories, you know, with Ben. I remember watching the 2009 uh, NBA Finals against the Magic. And uh, when they won that title, that was just like such an amazing moment. Seeing Kobe like, you know, like, you know, jump up and, and you know, like b do his fist like this. Uh, that was just such an, an amazing moment. And um, if you want, you know, like that's, that's when Kobe was at his best for me personally. Like that, that 2009 finals, that whole finals, those five games, like he was just, um, he was just putting up, he was just putting up a, he was putting on a clinic and he, he was just shooting shots that you've just never seen before with such ease uh the finals the next year um i have just like the vivid memory of like the clock winding down and i think lamar odom like threw the ball across the court and kobe chased after it like a little kid and he you know raised his arms up like that and like that was when like it was like confirmed that oh my lord the lakers just won another championship um, dude, man, <laughs> you know, just like so many great memories. Like I said, I've Kobe's been somebody who I've been inspired by since I was five years old. Watching him, you know, with the fro, winning those three championships with with Shaq, being the uh, graceful, athletic freak that he was. Um, 
you know, he's just greatness exemplified. And like I said, there were so many people who were just deeply inspired by him and by the way he was. Um, I know to a lot of people, it might seem so silly that like somebody who is simply just a sports figure or an athlete, how we can be so emotional about him. But it's just amazing, man. Like when you do what you've been called to do in your life, like when you like, live your life to the fullest and be the absolute best that you can be it is really really amazing how it has an impact on the people who watch you it doesn't matter what you do man you could be somebody who you know you know creates you know cameras and you could be somebody who bakes pies you could be somebody who you know who creates art and you know music is obviously a powerful thing um man just like the impact that one can have by simply just doing what they do to the best of, the, of their ability how it can make other people feel like they can be the best that they can be um it, it really touches people it really gets it really um sorry i'm literally fumbling with my words right now hopefully i'm being sense, but like it really really is an inspirational thing to a lot of people um, it's absolutely something that I aspire to be like Kobe is absolutely somebody like Mamba mentality is something that I absolutely try to incorporate in the stuff that I do It's definitely why I put in work every day. It's definitely why I put out as much content as I try to put out um, Even though I've been slacking lately, I'll try to stop slacking um, You know, I could always be better at the Mamba mentality Kobe never slacked ever so I could definitely pick it up there um, you know, he's absolutely the reason why I'm as passionate about the Lakers as I am. Um, you know, I'm definitely grateful that, um, right now <laughs> the Lakers are doing well. And so like, you know, we can sort of mourn Kobe without being depressed that the Lakers suck or anything like that. Like the Lakers are actually good this year. <sighs> Man, I could go on and on. I could go on and on. Um... I have so much to say, and yet I'm speechless at the same time. Um, yeah, y'all. So that's me. That's me for today. Um, hopefully, the stuff I said made sense. Um, RIP to a great, RIP to a legend. Uh, Kobe, we love you. We miss you. Thank you for everything you've done. Thank you for everything you've done for me personally, um, how you've inspired me. Um, yeah. Peace out, y'all. <laughs>